Wait till you see this, guys. Wait till you see this. Not a horsey video, I don't think. I just want you to see Herbie running for his treats, like. Ooh. Herbie! Here he comes, Luke. Here he goes. Hello, my boy. And of course, it's nice today. He's going get his jacket off. He'll be so happy. Hello, my boy. Hello. Good boy. Hello. It's good to see you. And as usual, when the coat comes off, he digs. He's got one there, one, two, three places where he, he does his little rolling around bit. He seems to try and poke out a divot, you know, like a golf club divot. Like something to roll on, like, and then there he goes. Look. <laughs> that is a big animal, people. You can hear it thumping off the ground. So this is what me and Dark are going to take with us. Oh, Bailey, yes, Bailey. Yeah. So socket set. The lorry's not starting. I think it might be the alternator. So charge up both these batteries, and we'll give it a test there. Eh? Mm -hmm. And that's all our stuff. So we're going to go to the campy, got a bit of lorry to do. Still not sure Bailey's pregnant yet. Oh, yeah. It's been four weeks now, but she doesn't look. She doesn't look. She feels a bit chubbier. We'll just have to wait and see, guys. Aye, right, that's just because Mum and Emily are left. I know, I know, I know. There we go, so Duff's just got her started up. Yeah, so let's see. I think it's going to be the alternator, I really do, that's that too fully charged now. So we'll just have to wait and see, we'll get it up to the field now and test it. So yeah, I'll just give it a couple of minutes to warm up. Now I was just saying about this alternator on the lorry, is that maybe it's a good thing it's gone now, and it hasn't went while that's away up in the highlands somewhere, eh? Mm -hmm. And having to be towed all the way home. So maybe this is a bit of a blessing in disguise, you know? And off we go! Oh, man, ambulance. Whoa, goodness sake, that was... I don't know, guys, that was pretty crazy. Whoa. A, a flash right, buddy. Maybe a wave, eh? Nice. Everybody seems to be so happy in this time today. All good people, all good. Me and David love the lorry. Up nice and high, lots of room. Very easy vehicle to drive. I suppose it is a bit a bit more difficult here when you're trying to get through the town all the time in traffic. You can't just sort of get out and nip out in the night, you know. The ever helpful David getting the gate for his old daddy. That's a good boy that people, let me tell you. My boy. Up we go, boom, boom. Now Herbie's bound to see us, he's away over at the other side. Aye, I think he's seen us. Where's my trotting boy? Need trotting, here he comes, he's trotting now. Yeah, this man has taken up a lot of time, guys, I'll tell you, a lot, a lot of time. Yeah, and of course we'll get back into the trailer as well. It's fine for now, the big hay bale trailer is, and... Hello, hello boy. Did you know we have these? Yes. They're brand new. They're out of the Land Rover. Now, I have to ask Artie, this is an old trailer that the guys use as storage. See if I can cut these metal underruns off so I can use them on the trailer. Mm -hmm. That'll be cool. Yeah, so we're going to head down to the campy. See lots of stuff. A look at the river. So yeah, I think me and David are going to get permits this year, eh, son? For the river law, say there's a lovely pool right beside David's campy here. Wait till you see this. Yeah, Poison Ivy will be coming back up shortly as well. But as you can see, guys, just on the edge, there's a right pool just down here. And boy, oh boy, if we ever get that to be our house, guys, that would be awesome. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what's going on. Oh, me and we're getting some daffodils. Everything's starting to get a bit green again, like. No cows across the way today, though. Yeah, here we go. Now, I think the mistake we made here, son. Oh, that's cress. You can actually eat that. That's cress. Hmm. Wow. Good wee cool. bedtime snack. Yeah. Yeah, so we need to replace this washing line piece with the big rope that you have, son. Water. Water, yeah. Yeah, because your rope that we currently have. David's cutty, guys. Yeah, that is the boy, son. It's heavy duty stuff. It's not just this one. Let's just heavy duty it, son. As you can see, it's, it's completely oil on. Oh, yeah. 
There he is, look, the man of the moment on his cot. Yes. Looking good. Yeah, rope's much better. Definitely much better with a rope on. Look at that. That's going to work really well. Look at that, guys. Yeah, so this is an old washroom when the caravan site was here. It's now David's Campy 2. Campy 1 is farther up river, isn't it? Haven't been there for a while, son. Yeah, so me and David are just co commenting. Look, guys, you got a kind of faster flow in the middle there. Then you got the slack bit back in here. Oh, yeah. Down the back there as well. I'm sure there are some. I'm sure there are a couple of fish going around. That's the great thing about fishing. Do you wonder what's actually down there? Could there be a big five pounder lying down in there, son? Who knows? Yeah. And if we wanted to, we actually could today. We could. It's yeah. Well, we're we not in. Rods and we, have the deer. we we do, but we're out of season because it's ha It's uh, May the th uh, March the thirtieth. I think this river opens, wow. so that'd be really good. This is a private bit, apparently. Anyway, mm -hmm. our mate's house, so we could actually fish here if we wanted to. Yeah. yeah so Herb's is on a sugar high, aren't you, Herbie boy? I left him with this mint molasses for quite a while. He now he's trying to break it up. Watch. Yeah, watch the lorries right there behind your bum, son. Yes. Yeah, so we're getting there now. We've got this fence almost there at the top edge of the field, as you can see. And we're located this water pipe. But it just seems to go down, 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 down. So I'll try to figure that out. I wonder if there's a tap here somewhere. Yeah. And that might link to something. Well, David spotted our guys uh, guys over there. Look at the heavy recovery taking. Uh, looks like a caboose, like a train carriage, isn't it? Right beside the army vehicle, look. Oh, they've always got the coolest of vehicles in them, they, son? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, so hopefully, as you can see, guys, we are finally getting there. We're stocking the lorry up. Look, circlips, our clips, all the bits and pieces that we need. Nice stock of stuff down there, too. There, there. Young baby. Yeah, so here we go. Well, let's have a look. What's it saying? All the earth. Oh, dead. Huh? Oh, dead. Yeah, look. Ah. Yeah. Right, so we've got good, we've got it linked up. What we'll do this time is switch on the electrics. Oh, it's dead. Now it's dead, yeah. It's just not powerful enough. Ah. So let us get the cab lifted up, my boy. We're going for a wee bit of surgery, a wee bit of surgery, a wee bit. Yeah, so Davs and I fitted this a wee while ago, and I'm trying to remember. Let's see, up. Yeah, that way. Up. Hopefully it's got enough jack fluid in it. I'm sure it has. You already know the engine, obviously, don't you, Sonny boy? Mm -hmm. There's the gear stick that goes back to the gearbox. So this is the air box. Sucking the air in here to the turbo. Mm -hmm. Compressor for all the air suspension and all the bits and pieces. And this is the alternator. Listen to this, guys. He's got it. Electricity, that's all it does. This is a windmill, basically. Yeah, it just generates it electricity. spins on the fan belt. See how it's squeaking? Yeah, that is, that is what it is, son. And then it generates energy, and then it goes... And, and charges the batteries, the batteries up. But, um, if the alternator goes, it can't charge up the batteries, and that means the starter won't start, you won't get heat in, lights, anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically with the alternator, as you can see, that's its bottom bolt that it pivots on, look. Now you'll see it's moving, look. So when you adjust this part up here, it pulls the alternator this way and pulls this tight. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish today. Eh? But the bolts are really, nuts and bolts are really awkward. Very, very awkward indeed. This top one here, guys, because you'll see, I've got this plate right there, trying to get a spanner into that man alive because you've got tubes back here on the engine. So when you just tighten that and tighten that and tighten that until this comes tight and then you tighten all the, the nuts back up again. Right, so now the farm belt's tight, son. It should turn the alternator just fine. So we'll link up the tester again, son. Yeah. Now they've tightened up the alternator belt. We seem to be absolutely fine now, eh, son? We're getting green. We're showing green. It's okay. But that farm belt is gone. You know, it definitely is. So thankfully, the guy that had it before us is really good. I mean, look with spares. But the only thing is is I've really got to take apart, you'll see there, to get the belt down. I'm going to have to take the whole fan assembly off to get it in, but it'll be worth it. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
rather than being at the side of the road somewhere ripping it apart, I can do it here just now when it's nice and warm. Oh, so our Saturday meal, guys, look. Lovely, just nice and simple. Very, very tasty. Yes, yeah, so we're in the night time to spend a wee bit of time with herbs before we go home for Saturday night movie. Yeah. Oh, look at me feeding my boy. He's here, he's here in the party over there. Look. Nighttime feed, yeah. Look at this man, so I'm just going to get some tools. But look, he knows. Well, that's actually the, the lid of his horse licks. I know what he's looking for. I'll keep it later for him. Good boy. I said, good boy. So here we are back at the campy guys look. So yeah we've got the rope up now which is much better than that white piece that you see there so that's awesome. That's made a huge difference but we've taken out this piece here that was a support look and now yeah. look at that the box fits in and, and also, I mean almost perfectly. It's still open. Big storage in there. He's got stuff to hang stuff up. We'll have to put a bit of perspex over that window area there and a fly net because this will be there'll be a lot of beasties down here what at this time of year. This? We'll probably patch it. Just just patch it maybe. Yeah. Nothing major. Just like if you yeah, can't... Yeah, woo. Yeah. Maybe you should put in another window. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe. Yeah. A bit rotten. A bit rotten, son, a bit rotten. Which is okay, which is okay. Yeah, and then we need another piece of floorboard in here. We'll keep all the kindling for the fire. We need a couple of fire extinguishers over here, guys. We can keep them really handy so we can get them from either side. And we'll also have a bucket of water as well, just for when we're doing fires and oh, stuff. There's already two buckets, so I want to have two buckets. Yeah, and that will keep us nice and fire safe. Yeah, I need this. Hmm. I think it's the height of me. Well, just chop it up and burn it in the fire. Yeah. Probably best not keeping uh, firewood in here, but certainly the newspapers, you know, for lighting the fires, yeah. they'll be kept dry inside that thing easy. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'll put a, I'll put a thing on the wall for you, son. Yeah. Don't worry about that. I'll put a thing on the wall, That's just a little a little fitting, mm -hmm. so you can keep it up like that if you want. Ah, look, and the river, guys, is right there. Me doves are going to get permits, don't we? Permits. Mm -hmm. That'll be awesome. Yeah, so down here the banks are quite steep and what I'm talking about here is, you know, is actually putting the, the canoe in the water. Getting the canoe in the water is the easy bit, it's getting into the canoe. This is all pretty bad, look, and this part of the bank look, is, is all undercut from spades probably, I think. Even that's a bit. I wonder if we could do it further up, probably. We could easily do it over there, but it sort of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Now I've got them. Um, yeah, we've got them. Um, I know. It's a perfect day. It's actually like warm, but there's a lovely cool breeze to come in. It's not too bright. So he'll be nice and happy. Yeah. yeah, he's used to all these noises now, isn't he, MC? Eh? Yeah. And we are being really patient with them, guys. We're not overdoing them, are we? Just bringing them up nice and slowly. I think we're definitely getting into shedding season, if you don't know what that means. It's when winter passes going into spring, horses start losing their thick coat. They do, don't they? I have to get you an auction camera for this job, Emily. Daddy's walking backwards here. But at least I kind, kind of know the field. Yeah, I kind of know it herbs. I've been working on it for two years. So now we're on to just, he's been round with me leading him. Now we take the lead rope off. He does follow me, he sees me as his alpha. Yes, and he does. I spend most of my time up here, so he follows me because he trusts me. Or at least 80% trusts me. Hey boy. So this is what we want, you know, we don't want Herbie to feel like um, riding stressful or something, you know. So we just really take our time, get him set up and nice and relaxed. Yeah. We're not doing anything major yet with the Arby San, eh? Just getting you used to us. Yeah, look at him, he's just gorgeous. I'll tell you guys, see when we get him up into the mountains? Get some, oh, you'll just look amazing in the heather and the tartan and everything, eh, darling? Yeah, you're doing really well. That is such a good boy. Yeah. There he is. Just looking good. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, that good boy. So it's had a really nice walk around today, eh, heavy boy? Mm -hmm. It's a really nice walk around. I don't know what I've done with your mints, though. He's got his mints for a treat, you see, guys. Yeah, but the they're in the lorry somewhere, I'm sure they are. Good boy. Yeah. We've so just had a really good ride and Herbie is now getting his feed. It's lovely and warm today, so we're just trying to decide now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mum's... Well, it was your rain tonight and it's warm enough. Like, what's the temperature going to be like? Um, about to... Like, what would be the average temperature tonight? Eight. Eight. Like Sometimes it says feel like two years uh, two years. I think the rain could just to keep the chill off. And that's it, just as we do go. Which means yeah. we'll need to put his um, head collar back on. Yeah, we'll have to put the head collar on. Good boy. He's looking satisfied, guys. So his winter feed. So Emily's just giving him a second brush now. Yeah, because he's a little bit dusty. Yeah, and it's actually very warm tonight. I mean, I know it'll get cold in the middle of the night. So we'll just put on his raincoat just to give him a bit of protection for the breeze. But I think otherwise he'll be fine tonight, won't you, son? Yeah. yeah. He's a clever boy. Wait till I send this to Alana. Yeah. What's well, us guys? David's just grabbed the hammock from the lorry. That's going to be his campy hammock now, I think. Or you could keep that in your bag all the time, wherever we go. You know, your wild camping bag. Keep it in there all the time. Fly sheet as well. That's a mosquito. It's a mosquito now. But it'll work even better. So hopefully this week guys we'll get the roof back on this place, make it all solid, that'll be awesome. Every boy's happy, should be okay, but I do not know what I've done with his mints people, I don't know. <laughs>